Hey, what's up? Just wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May's stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... <sighs> everything. I'll call him right now. But... Don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. <sighs> Especially that French one. Sometimes you're just too romantic. I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, welcome back to Spooderman. Um, we've been away from this game for a while. I've been playing lots of different games. Mainly horror games. Although I just got done doing a playthrough for um, Super Mario World for Throwback Thursday. So we are ready to get underway. I'm going to play this tonight and then Robocop tomorrow. And there's our natural enemy, Pigeons. I hate these guys in Spider-Man games. Get out of my rooftop, Pigeons. Okay, so what are we what are we exactly doing? Okay, we gotta go over to Harry's. Where have you been? I guess that's for Miles. Oh, that's for me. Clear out debris at the hospital for Chief Clark's team. Oh, should we do that first? Oh, we gotta find out that missing grandpa, wherever he is in the um park. I wonder if that's Howard with his pigeons or not. Because I've seen pictures of him sitting next to either Spider-Man at a bench. But I don't re I don't know if it's that mission or something else. Probably not. Howard doesn't seem like the type who would get lost. But you never know. This one's further, but... um, Yeah, let's, let's do that first. Let's help out the fire chief. Then we can go head over to meet Harry. Because, uh, you know, for Peter, helping people is a lot more important than money, you know. Harry can pay us, but, um, helping people out will give him that good feeling that Peter likes, so. Priorities over money. Looks like one of Marco's memory crystals Miles told me about. I should check it out. Oh, where is it? Yeah, where is it? Huh. Damn, there's a break in... Ah, I guess we go over there. It's only 400 meters away. I guess we swing over there. Let's go keep some scumbags. Kick them right in the ass. Oh, that was further than I thought. I thought it was going to be one of the, those rooftops right over here. Hey! Are you crashing my fight or am I crashing hey, yours? Spider -Man. Uh, crashing crime, dude! Oh, hey, it's Miles. Cool. Hell yeah. Oh, you're done now. Look at Miles Palpatine Wait. right there. I gotta bounce, but I appreciate the assist. All right, but the next post-fight piece is on me. Hell yeah. Oh, damn, look at how shiny he is. Oh, there he goes, like the Predator. He disappeared. Cool. You think the Predator could take out Spider-Man or would Spider-Man take him out? I mean, obviously he's not going to kill him because uh, Peter or Miles doesn't kill. Peter especially doesn't kill unless it's extremely necessary. What the hell is this? This does not look good. This looks kind of shady, whatever this is. Um, I get the feeling we'll be coming back to this. Wasn't that the rooftop where he had to get the antidote when Scorpion poisoned him last time in the first game? I believe it was this, right? Because they had the little computer here and everything, so... I'm guessing we're going to be coming back to that later on. We'll check it out. Okay, where was that crystal he spotted? It was on the way to the fire chief. I really got to get back to playing some Robocop. That game is awesome. Even though it is janky, and I get the feeling I haven't seen him in a tenth of the jank in the game, but, um... You know... Being janky is only a bad thing if it's bad jank. Like if it renders the game unplayable. If it just if it just makes the game funny, it's fine if it has some glitches and bugs, you know. It is, there's a difference between being amusing and then being completely unplayable. It's when it becomes unplayable, 
that's when it becomes a huge problem. So, you know, regular jank on its own is fine. It's just, you don't want it to be too janky that, that the game becomes so unplayable. It's just no longer fun to do. Oh, there's some more of those freaks burning the, the tanker trucks. We don't have time for this shit. Where the hell was um? Where was the crystal? Oh, here it is. Yeah, let's um grab that first before we forget. Because then we have to come back and grab it with Miles, so... Let's take care of that ASAP. Looks like one of Marco's memory crystals Here we go. Miles told me okay. about. I Down there in that out. sandstorm. Okay. Speaking of um other games, um I've been playing control and that has a um, grain filter attached to it. I just that just reminded me that I gotta turn the grain filter off I'll come here. Back for it later. Wait a second, what, what was he pointing out? I mean, we're going to the crystal, so why was he saying he'll come back for it later? Man, it's like mini, little miniature clay faces. Like, are they all shards of his consciousness, or do they have, like, little will of their own? Because, like I said before, Parts of Clayface can actually be called conscience if conscious if really leave and go he lets more them tropical. exist for more than a few minutes. Yeah, I gotta remember we can parry hits. We don't just have to evade, we can actually parry them. Right, took care of that problem. Let's see what is what this has Let's to tell us. Check out that crystal now. It's my turn to follow them. Figure out who they are. I end up at this abandoned school in Harlem. And I'm already beginning to regret this. Marco must have felt so alone during all this. His back against the wall? Can relate. Didn't he have other villains he can turn to? Like, I know they're pretty bad, but aren't there at least a few that aren't complete scumbags that would have been willing to help him out? Like, we know he's pursuing some of, uh, what's his name's guys, um, Cravens, but was there really no one else who could have helped him out? No other heroes, no other villains? Like, there had to be someone, you know? Alright, let's go do a Let's go do this. Clear out that debris. I don't know why for some reason I just don't like the grain filter in video games. I know it's meant to give you a feeling of watching a movie. Which I guess I appreciate for some people but I just don't like it. Like, I always turn it off in Silent Hill games. After the initial one playthrough, I never played with the grain filter again ever. Except like on a very rare occasion just to remind myself of what it looked like. But I just prefer to look at the games completely without it. And it's funny because on Twitter there was this one, um, there was this one woman saying um, she really hopes they don't, eliminate the, they don't eliminate the filter from Silent Hill 2 Remake. That she's expecting them to eliminate it. And the game's going to look all bland. And that, you know, Silent Hill 3 partly looked beautiful because of the green filter. And I'm like... I always turn the grain filter off. I don't want that to interfere with my graphics. I actually like admiring how great the game looks without them. You know, it's meant to give you an unsettling feeling. Like you're watching a recording or watching a movie. But it's just... I always turn the grain filter off. I did the same thing for um, The Evil Within. I turned that thing right off as soon as I was able to. And for the second game too. And the next gen Silent Hill games. The few that we got. I turned it off there. Pretty much any game that has a grain filter, I always turn it off. Because I actually like admiring the, um... I actually like admiring the graphics. And you can't really do that if everything looks all grainy and blurry, so... I get that it's a style choice, but... For me, I'd rather they just give you the option to turn it off instead of forcing you to play with it or... Forcing it on you or taking it completely away. Just give you the option to, um... Turn it off yourself. Slowing down too much. Might need to do another refresh. 
All right, what do we have here, officer? Thanks for coming. Let's see what we have. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. All right, let's go. Let's go rescue some firemen. Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Ooh, Spiderbot. Time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. See, that's what I said. Peter could easily get himself some money if he wanted to. He could become an inventor. He could sell some drones. Like, you don't have to make him advance to this one, but you could... You could sell some miniature versions of them that with less features, and you'll still make a, a ton of um. Is that a robot? Hey, it's Spider-Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider-Man. Thank you. Hey, Clark. Did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Yeah, look at the holographic technology. Like he could totally make a fortune off that if he wanted to. This is... He doesn't think big enough. Like, that was actually the one good quality Doc Ock had as Spider-Man. God damn. I mean, thought that was a giant rat. I forgot it were this, this little ass uh, robot. I thought that was a huge giant rat. Like those ones in the graveyard rats. The two adaptations of that old story. Good time to test out my pulse blast then. See, look, he's even got weapons attached to them. Nice. So he could totally sell stuff like this and make a fortune. You don't have to make it as advanced so that regular people don't have the technology. But yeah, you could... You gotta think big, Peter. That's the only way you're ever gonna get out of debt in your case. You have a brilliant mind which you could use, you know? You could use this to actually get yourself out of debt and have a secure life while still being Spider-Man. You don't have to sacrifice everything. Hang on, I'll get you out of there. Look at that, he's even got the webbing inside them. This would totally make a great toy if you could make a less advanced version of it. Help's coming. Fire and rescue knows where you are, and they'll be here soon. You're going to be okay. Thank you. Thank yeah, like like that was the one advantage, like I said, that that Doc Ock had over Pete. Spider-Man, we'll right he Mr. could um, think out. bigger than him, so he saw the whole picture. Those breathing exercises again. <laughs> All right, where do we go next? Um, where do we go next? Um, what about here? Kind of stuck. I don't know where to go next. I see, I see that guy right over there, but where? How do we reach him? <laughs> the one flaw it does have it, it doesn't seem to be able to climb stairs. Yeah, because the guy's the guy's right over there. But how do we reach him? His foot is in our way. So how do we get past his um How do we get past him right there? Do we shoot at this? Let's see. Huh. How do we get past this? Oh we go under the wheelchair, okay. It was right in front of me, I wasn't seeing it. Yeah, auto thought big. He saw the whole picture. Peter doesn't, so even though Peter has more compassion, and Otto admitted he was a superior Spider-Man. Um, Otto still had a point in that Pete can't actually see the whole picture. He can't see how he can be both Spider-Man and financially successful at the same time. And he doesn't, he doesn't have to sacrifice either one of them. And he doesn't have to become a ruthless businessman like Stark, or um, Luthor, or Bruce Wayne, or any of these famous guys either. Like, you can just... Fire and rescue's on the way. Just try not to move. They'll have you out of here soon. Yeah, he doesn't have to become a complete scumbag either. He's smart enough. 
and his genius is extensive enough that he can um, he can make a decent living while still on. Um, look at that, he's even got jet boosts on the on the freaking drone. Hey Clark, did you get the last location I sent your way? I'm guessing it's using compressed out. air to hover. Only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. All right, where are we going? I think it's over here. Yeah, Peter just has to think bigger than he normally does. Because that does what bring up one thing I really dislike about the Spider-Man fandom sometimes. Like, I know it, they want it to be relatable, that they can identify with him, but having Peter perpetually be broke and miserable for the rest of his life does not make him um, an empathetic or sympathetic character. It just makes him pathetic after a while because like... If he can't even take care of himself or his family, how is he gonna take care of others, you know? You gotta learn to take care of yourself first, and you can't really do that if you're always broke and you have no money. I'm coming! Just hang on! Somebody up ahead a few minutes ago. Purple jacket. Oh, there's an extra person that. here? Clark, I just sent a new location your way. But this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? I'm not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll I get them out. who it is. I'm on it. That reminds me, there's also a trophy in Robocop that you get for rescuing the cat from a burning building. So I look forward to doing that, rescuing the cat from the fire. Never seen Robocop interact with animals, have we? At least I don't recall. Maybe on the TV show he did once or twice, but not in the movies. Which is kind of a shame because I'd be interested to see how they would react to him. You know, that's something that's got me curious now. How they would react to Robocop. Because he's not a human, but at the same time he's not fully really a machine either. He's a blend of both. So how would they react, a dog or a cat, if they saw him? Okay, so someone in a purple jacket. Uh, this will take some maneuvering. Yeah, we don't want to fall down and get fr get our gadget fried. So it de it does deplete. So I'm guessing it's using either compressed air or something else to fly. Maybe Stark's repulsor tech. He's using that, but uh, Peter has a low budget, so I'm... Oh. These are scumbags. Oh, really? It's this scumbag? It would be a freaking cultist, right? That they're still inside the building. I keep wondering who that flame guy is. Who is that guy? Damn, we we did not hover enough. Needed some extra boost. Yeah, like I said, I haven't read any Spider-Man comics recently, so I have no idea who that guy is. Whether he's one of Peter Peter's enemies, one of Miles' enemies, just some random weirdo in, that showed up in New York and is challenging all the superheroes. I have no idea who that guy is, so. Or if it's a guy, it could be a woman. I've fought these people before. Organized and fanatical. Wait a second. Yeah, I'm getting big cult vibes. What about the intruder that's skulking around? They can't stop all of us. Now keep looking for supplies. Wait a minute, so Peter knows who they are? Uh... Tell us then. I know they're not Craven's people. Craven's people are professionals, as crappy as they are. These, these guys are just weirdos, so who are they? 
Is it someone he saw over in Simcaria then? Maybe from over there? I like the little sound the drone makes when it's skittering on the surface. Yeah, a toy version of this would sell like hotcakes. Can we fry him using the gadget? What are they? Oh no! I didn't say anything to the police! Never, never even mentioned the flame! I just... I just wanted out! Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. Hell yeah. Get out of here! Beat up those freaks. Ugh, the fool's beacon! Thought she said you said essentially. Prophecy? Oh man, I've always wanted to be in one of those! Not crazy about the nickname though! I'll destroy the other! So, what's my prophecy? Endless fighting? Death by building? Grow four arms and become a giant man spider? A bird with the rest of the unworthy! That's it? Oh, okay. Yeah, that man spider thing does happen in another universe, Peter. It's, it's not pretty. It's pretty ugly. Whoa, guys, can we take this outside? These guys are idiots. Instead of getting out of there, they're really willing to die in here. Obviously, we are better than you ever will be. Hell, oh, you give him the business, Spider Man. Who are you people? Damn, she's gonna have a bad neck day for a long time. Pretty sure this building is gonna fall apart before then. They gotta have something to do with Venom, right? That's why they keep using flame as their symbol. They gotta have something to do with Venom. Hey, you wanna stay here and die? Be my guest. You won't be getting out with those webs. You're definitely gonna die in here. Venom's eternal. Yuri, right? Thanks. That's Yuri. So, so are they some of her enemies then? There you are. Hey! You never did like my smoking. Yuri? Yep, Spidey Your it is. Call me Wraith. She cut her hair. It's pretty well, I think. I tried. Where have you been? I like her better with her old hair. That one doesn't really um be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. To be fair, Peter, it, that stuff is ultra sticky. It's not that difficult pulling them over here. Looks like Yuri took off. Right? I thought she'd just need some time. I just just get them in a grip and then throw them against the wall. It's not that difficult. Suit. And a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her. And the other on these cultists. Any so I'm guessing eyes. there's some of hers. Okay, that's why... That explains why we've never heard of them. They're probably her enemies, not um, not his or Miles. Alright. Makes sense. And I'm guessing Peter doesn't really know how dangerous they are and she does, which is why she's so ruthless. She knows they're up to no good and Peter thinks he's, they're just regular common cultists. But they've got to have something to do with Venom, right? I know Venom or Martin Lee, but I don't really think it's Martin We're Lee. Suffering through a litany. Shut up, JJ. Nobody wants to hear your crap. Got a photo up on our way to Harry's place. Oh, we got some skill points. Let's, uh, let's get some skills. Okay, so um, should we get him for Peter or just for Miles? Um, 
I think Peter kind of needs it more because Miles has his, his um, electric judgment. That's what Plo Koon used to call his uh, brand of Force Lightning in the Star Wars Legends. Electric judgment. Yeah, shock enemies with electrified web lines leaving them vulnerable to attack. That sounds like something we could definitely use. That sounds like something we could definitely use. So we're going to focus on that. There you go. Shoot that lightning at him. It's not it's not Miles' lightning, but it's pretty damn close. We need to start getting some um, skills for them too. Ah, so we can't unlock any of this stuff until we do this one. Alright, so let's do it. Uh, hold L2 plus X while on ground to charge a slingshot launch. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do it. There we go. Now, what can we get? Um... Okay, let's see. Bounce up. Okay, so that just treats him like a basketball. Uh, I don't know if I want to... That one looks useful. Whipping the, the weapon back at them. This is just to swing around. Like, I, I don't really need that right now. Maybe later if we're pursuing someone or we want to do some tricks. Ask a chance for a free gadget shot at the end of melee combo. Um... Successful, successfully parrying a light enemy's attack causes them to drop any weapons they're holding. Um, let's see. Okay, so you parry them, and it knocks away their weapons. Okay. Um, that one looks cool. I think we'll go for the web whip, because there's a lot of guys with guns and pipes, so we can just do all sorts of things to them. Suit tech. Let's see what we have. Traversal, health, um, rare tech parts, increased damage, increased damage to under twenty percent. Um, let's see. Additional focus bar. Do we have that or not? Let's see. Purchasing a suit mod gives group gives you access to both mods in the group. Okay, one mod per group can be active, and mods can be swapped at any time. Okay. So focus rewards 10%. Enemies detected with R3 or scan. That would be really useful, but I don't know if we have enough points just yet. Add an explosive boost to point launch. I mean, we're doing pretty fine with swinging around. I'm not really sure it's something that I'm... Look at this, slightly heal when performing a perfect dodge. That is locked. Oh, we gotta increase our health here. We're running low on parts though, should we risk it or not? Damage, um... 120 base damage. This will take all our parts, or all our hero tokens, so... I don't think I want to do it just yet, um... Maybe the... Yeah, let's do the health, because this... Let's do the health, whatever. We always need more health. I think we're officially out for now. I don't think there's much else we can do. We don't have the points yet. We got Miles, got Peter. Yeah, let's stick with the blue outfit for now. I see JJ shut up. Screw you, JJ. You suck. You freaking suck. Nobody likes your podcast anyway. They all pretend they do. But they're lying to you. Oh, there's another Sandman thing right there. Let's see if we can get that done. Uh, does anyone have sunscreen? And will one of you do my back, please? I wonder if Mary Jane Reed does for that for him when they go to the beach. Okay, so that's how you parry. I won't give up. I really want to get that one where you heal after doing the perfect dodge because that that's a very useful skill anyway. So
So if we heal a bit every time we do a perfect dodge, that can easily save us a lot of health. And keep us from dying. I find them, and they're waiting for me. With all sorts of weapons. What the hell have I walked into? Weapons? Whoever they are, they definitely read up on Marco. Shouldn't have done it alone, Marco. That's Craven's gang. He wanted to capture him, to use him as prey. Oh yeah, where's our photo thing? Let's go get that first before we head over to Harry's to uh, get ourselves some employment because we're flat broke, so... But before we get some cash, let's get some snapshots. We gain some minor cash. Oh, damn, we got another stupid-ass arsonist. Really? We gotta deal with that crap again? These guys are worse than the gangs in Gotham City. Okay, let's see the photo I've discovered. Oh, is that the one we didn't we couldn't figure out what exactly they were um what exactly we were looking for? No, that's not it, right? Where's the where's the the camera thing? Oh look at that plane going over, over there. That's a lot of people, man. New York is busy, busy. It's probably one thing I wouldn't like about it if there's so many people on the streets at all times. Seems kinda crowded. Yeah, what is the, the photo op opportunity? Is it just a block? Or is it feast? Is it feast, I guess? I guess, right? I guess it's feast. Let's see. Let's pull out the old... Let's pull out the old camera. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get exactly what we're supposed to be looking for. Is it Feast? No, it's not, so... Oh, Subject not in focus. Um, let's see, can we get over here? Subject not in... Health Clinic? Hey, look at the sign man, twirling his little sign there. I'm stuck again, you know? But I take it. Like it. Is it over here? It would help if he actually had some hint of what we're supposed to be looking for. Can I take it back? I don't know. This is a challenge, you know. It's not as easy as it looks. Maybe it's something up here. Get out of the way, pigeons. Subject not in focus. So something about this area then. Let's see. Subject too far. Yeah, see, that's a smart strategy with your bishop there. I don't know. Fight. Okay, so it is the chest thing. Okay. That should work for Ryan. There we go. You know, I saw an old Grand Master playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. Damn. Never seen anything like it. Robbie's a cool guy. Hell of a lot better than Jonah. Oh, here's some of the stuff uh, Finn left behind. I thought the police would have impounded all this by now. 
Yeah, they're busy eating donuts, Spider-Man. They don't have time for anything else. Especially now that the Yuri, the one captain that kept them aligned, is gone. They're, they're just getting lazy. You know, they, they, they're not... They're not as bad as our real world police or the Gotham police forces, which are both of them hideously corrupt and racist and God knows what, but they're still kind of slow. You know, without you and the Avengers and the few times they're here, the city would fall to chaos. You know, you're got, you guys are the only thing keeping this version of New York City running. Because it sure as hell ain't the cops. You know, like I said, they may not be hideously corrupt like our real world police or, um, or, or what do you call it, uh, Gotham City's police forces, but they're not all that great either. Like, Jefferson Davis was by far the, worst, the best of them, and um, he's dead, so. Gotta work with what you have. And right now, they don't have much. Emily May Foundation. I assume that's the name of um, Harry's mother. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. It'd be fun if we just went in there as Spider-Man. Hey, I'm here to volunteer. What do you need me to do? Or I'm here for a job. Willing to work long hours for little pay. Because <laughs> I need the money. What do you think of Peter's young appearance now? That they've now that they've kind of ironed it out a bit, smoothed it over. Um, Emily's tree. Oh yeah, memory of Emma, mem memory of That's Emily perfect. Osborne and May Parker. That is sad. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less. I've kind of gotten used this? to it, but I admit, but like, I think I always who, prefer his original face. But <laughs> ugh, Norman. So what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> uh, you ruined Otto, and you now freak. now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Damn, they got a particle accelerator? Holy crap, look at this, look at this shit. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? I like his tie, though. I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. And that shirt, that shirt's smooth, too. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Yeah, Peter's not, not the nerd far. he was before. At least not on the outside. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. They're already for foreshadowing that green goblin to with Norman. Dressed the first in thing green, I want to show you is downstairs. Wearing a green tie. Harry, this place. Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you? We got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment. But when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects. Installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track. Well, that's a nice sweater sure Harry's wearing. Aligned with our mission to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees, or to be more precise, on bee predators. I know where that's going, those stupid angry wasps. Those things are savage. They're the killer wasps that'll literally rip bees' heads off, Here, infiltrate me. the nest, those things are savage. And unlike bees, I don't think they actually do any necessary function in most ecosystems. They're just there to kill. Like freaking mosquitoes, except except uh, wilder, more savage. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Crying well, out robotic you, bees. Harry says you're or those robotic bees. wasps. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. A bee wolf? So what the hell? Way to help the bees. There's gotta be a wasp, right? It's gotta be a freaking wasp. Whoa, this is cool. 
These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. Oh. AKA bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Why can't we kill them if they're so deadly? Oh, nice! Yes! Because aren't they just going to come back? Yep. Like, if you scare them away, like, aren't they just going to get used to it enough times and come back? Oh, yeah! Again, not wanting to wipe them out, but still, like, it seems that, kind of a bit of ill advised to. Also, I guess they help out with the plants. Gonna mess with my bees. Gotta protect the hive. Uh, it's gonna be sad when Harry turns into Venom and he just wants to eat brains. Nice. Rip people apart and just eat their brains. I wonder if you try to eat Normans. Gotcha. So where's Airwolf? Wow. You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. In case anyone doesn't know, that was the name of it show in the 80s, Airwolf. I knew you'd be good at this. I'm in oh, the puns. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Damn. I'd love to help any way I can. Just those six or eight can I eat the whole the hive, basically? Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. Come on, Peter, you gotta take this job. Not only are you so helping the world, you you're flat you. broke. Let's you go. ain't got any options left. Unless you become an inventor, like I said. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work. Using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. This is a fancy ass work environment, Peter. What is this? Or are those like copies of organs? Are they cloning them? Attention. Because yeah, that would be like the ultimate goal, right? If you can clone organs without having to clone a whole human being. <laughs> you just clone a heart or a set of lungs a instead of cloning a person. Uh, oh yeah, he's trying to replace his sec? arm. That I forgot he's missing his arm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. His hair is wild. A shame about God Dr. damn. Octavius. His work had so much promise. That mop top. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. Oh, so he's already turned into the lizard. I thought he was I thought he was still turning. He was about to turn the first time in this game. I didn't, I didn't know they already have a background. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Now, the one thing I've never understood, um, if he regrows his arm when he turns into the lizard, why does he lose it when he turns back into a human? Like, wouldn't the, the lizard arm just turn back into a human arm? So much to see. So does it have like completely different I DNA? Start? I guess that's why it can't maintain it. But this is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Come on, Peter. The guy was the goddamn mayor. You know damn well he bribed the police to bring this stuff here. He was he was a freaking mayor. He could have just given them a direct order. They would have no choice but to obey it. He he just say, "Oh, we're taking it in for study to make sure he didn't." Uh, Jeopardize Oscorp and they just give it right to him. Nice. Come on, Peter. Use your Seems brain. Inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. 
And that's another thing I don't get. Like, it's just, do, do you really need back your flesh and blood arm? Can't you just get a prosthetic? Because they're obviously more advanced here than they are in real life. You know, they're approaching the Star Wars levels of prosthetics where it's like a real arm. So, like, can't you just get a prosthetic arm that's robotic? Like, do you really need your own flesh and blood arm back at that point? If you could clone it perfectly, sure. But until then, do, are you... Why are you just walking around with? Right now. Why are you just walking around with one arm? Like, get one of those robotic arms. You'd think Norman would give it to him for a price. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules, considered the building blocks of life, may provide a potent clue. Hey, that's not much of a mystery. We know that Celestials perform some juju on the species on Earth. That's why everything's the way it is. That's how Peter can eventually become Spider-Man. The way the X-Men exists, so... I guess they don't have the Celestials here. One would hope, right? I've never really been a big fan of those things, the space gods. It just... I get that they were one of Jack Kirby's original creations that that's why they keep including them everywhere and they honor him by you know repeating his work and even apocalypse wears a celestial suit but i just thought they were always way way too overpowered you know thanos is supposed to be like this hugely powerful villain and yet you have these space gods who could just probably tear him apart if they wanted to you know he has to get the infinity gauntlet to even compete with them and then they stomp the so they stomp the the asgardians and their the uh, Olympians and all those other gods and it's just it, it kind of it's kind of redundant to have gods like Odin and Thor and Hercules if you have actual space gods that are far superior like I just I've never liked that part I just never liked it because at least over in DC as much as I don't like New Genesis and Dark Side sometimes at least they're still the same gods as the Olympians and Gr the Roman gods and all those guys you know they're, they're just what are you doing with these bikes we're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Oh, that's Can useful for them? sure. Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Hell yeah, we're gonna burn rubber on those green bikes, Peter. That would be useful because um, lots of things have crappy batteries. Uh, phones, gaming controllers, a whole bunch of stuff have crappy batteries. So that could actually be useful if you ride a bike to be able to... to um, Recharge your battery by riding the bike. That would be ultra useful. There's a floating coffee cup here. I really gotta install that update for it, but the thing is, I'm kind of having too much fun seeing all the floating glitches like this crap. It's um. Can we pose? Can we pose with that damn coffee cup? Let's see. I think we gotta do it quickly, yeah, uh, before it shifts. There we go. That'll be. That's gonna be the um. The um, that'll be the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> that fl floating weird ass coffee cup. That'll be. That'll be the. There we go. Um. Okay, now can you do a pose of some sort? Let's see. Should we tilt it or not? I. I guess we should. Let's, let's try tilting it. I wish I knew what all these photography terms are because I have no clue what focus distance is like okay so 70 but like see to my eyes I'm not noticing any difference that's the problem I have no idea what any of this means exposures of lighting that I get that, that yeah that's I get that that's the lighting what about FOB okay we're at 47 this oh so that focuses on Yeah, so we're at 47. Yeah, I just ha have no idea what any of this stuff is. Not in the slightest. Ugh, that, he looks like Martin Lee there. What the hell is that crap? Fish, fish eye hashing negative? Hell no. Ew. Pixel. 
These things are super ugly, man. They they suck. Cool blues. French film. High action. Mars. We're on a freaking red planet. Pop art. Now let's just, just stick with regular. Let's just stick with regular, cause it. Oh, can we do a selfie? Let's see. That one might be good. Um, what's the one where he's holding it uh, sideways? Not that one. That one's kind of cool. I just don't like the city backdrop. Backdrop. I guess it could work. I guess it it could work as a as a photo Peter takes on his um on his phone to admire it how that weird ass coffee cup was floating in the middle of nowhere and nobody noticed it but I kind of like this one too because it seems like someone's taking a picture but you don't really know who it is it could be staff member it could be one of Norman's people you don't know yeah okay so now if, let's see sharpening what the frick is sharpening we got 14 oh looks like an old man now like he's rotting away Made out of wax or something. He's just rotting. Film grain size. We got 20. What's um. Oh frick no. Hell no man. No way. You're... That's a no. What about film grain strength? What exactly is that? Let's see. We're at 15. Oh. Vignette intensity at 10. So what exactly is um. Oh I see. Well, that one's kind of cool. So we're at 10. It's very, very bright. Um, yeah, that one's actually kind of cool. Let's see. There we go. Let's Yeah, let's put it there. Like 30, 34. That looks fine. What's the size? 50? Oh, that's the amount of um, darkness you get. Okay. 50 is fine. Looks like Peter's leaning there. Yeah, I think that looks good. Um, I'm no photographer. Like I said, I'm just trying to mess around with it. I don't really like the fact that you see the background where he's holding the phone behind his hand. That's the main reason why I didn't use the other filter. This one actually looks pretty good. So let's uh, hide the UI. Let's hide that. And we're going to take a picture of it. There you go. We can use that as a screenshot. That mysterious floating coffee cup right in the middle of Norman's base. Or a Harry's base of operations. And no one stops to wonder what the hell that thing is. Nobody knows. but It does make for a good also picture. Since this is healing the world. It looks pretty, plenty green. Filled with uh, plant life and stuff. So yeah it looks. There we go. I think that's acceptable. There's a freaking fish there. I didn't notice them. Probably should have. Maybe I should have gotten the fish, but... Oh, and she's T-posing. Ugh. Let's snap her out of it. Cool fish. Not just fish. Research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Oh, that good old generic fish food. No brand. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool! If it starts interfering with the main story, then I'll, I I'll update it. Place. Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Good start paying off the mortgage. Yeah, that's because it's Norman. Spidey work gets in the way. Gotta think this through before signing on. So I'll tell him you're Spider-Man then. Not um. Damn, even the restrooms have glowing doors. God damn, Norman went fancy. Um, Harry, not Norman. Tell him, tell Harry you're Spider-Man. He'll make some exceptions for you. Yeah, if it starts, if the glitch is starting to interfere with the main, um, with the main 
storyline. Oh, he could have cursed us out, but he didn't, so... Yeah, if it started interfering with the main story, then we'll, um... We'll consider upgrading yeah. it. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's at the Particle Collider. I want to see the Agriculture Center first. Okay, so since he's over there, um... Can we go back? Let's see. Yeah, There's got so the lobby. Much to explore. What's the lobby? I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. Man, screw Harry. He can wait 15 more minutes. Come on, man. Oh, looks cool. Look at that. Um. Can we come back here, or is this like a one-time only thing? He's over by the particle accelerator. I'm guessing that's going to play a role in the story eventually. Especially once Venom gets unleashed. Agriculture enemy. Look at this elevator too. This is some fancy ass stuff. The problem well, is that where we were? Why did they dry out faster than the others? I could do this forever. But I should get to the second floor to meet up with Harry. Focus. We're going, Peter. Let's just take a, one more look. Interesting. Negative energy. We are trying to harness it in a way that is beneficial. That would be a good trick. Good luck. Can you explain where it actually comes from? That's the greatest mystery. Is it where is that? Where is he? Where does he actually get that negative energy from? You know, like what exactly? What exactly is he tapping into? Is it just like a shadow realm or something? Where, where does he get that energy from? That I'm more interested in that than what you can use it for, because um, it doesn't really seem to have any other purpose besides just attacking. But I'm more interested in what where it actually comes from. What is negative energy in this universe? That's what interests me, not so much what you plan to do with it, because it doesn't seem like it really has any other use just throwing it at people and burning them, or causing large chaos and destruction. That's the only useful thing it can do. That guy's hair is weird. It's funny, he says he, he can't leave Harry waiting, but he's walking like a turtle over here. <laughs> So Peter doesn't really want to go meet up with him at this moment. He wants to explore because he's walking slow as hell. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. And a little trick about those things, Peter, uh, if you get caught in a lightning storm and get caught inside them, you can become the world's fastest man, now? the Flash. The top floor. You know? Your energy seems really good, Harry. You I need really great. good luck, but it can be done. How long would you be so instead of just being Spider-Man, you can become Spider-Flash. So put your way back helmet on and faster than a speeding mosquito. Even before high school. <laughs> middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... L Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project, and lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. It's funny, people say the open world is too superficial. Some people on Twitter... You know, you can't interact with the people enough, and you can't interact with the businesses way, enough, but Coming. they look plenty There's busy to me. Like you, so much to see. you don't interact with every single thing in real life, do you, right? You, you don't go into every shop, talk to every person on the street, buy every food, eat every food. You don't do Dr. all Foster. the world has to offer you. Thanks, Dr. Foster. So why should a game let oh, you do everything you can in I New York, too? Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. <laughs> Dr. Foster is working on yeah. agricultural Have efficiency. In the lobby area. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, 
we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Yep, lots like of pests around. Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Press Max X to grab head genes. Incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That Press them in plant empty slots. The world. Let's see. Okay, if I combine these traits. What are we building? Let's see. Success. Let's see. What do we make? Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. What should we do? Let's see. Let's what try that next? one. Okay, we need one that connects to a three. Let's see. Hmm. Could this one work? Let's see. Oh, hell yeah. What do we make? One Looks like some weird insect moving. World. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Well, that's cool. For all those people growing in gardens in their little uh, fire escapes in New York and Chicago, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we need one water, one sun, and one plant. Um, so, how, I don't know. Should we start with the water? or Let's see. Okay. Okay, um, if I combine these traits... That's not, that one's not going to work. Um... Wait a second, he said meet your attributes required for the plant. Um, let's see. Can we do a sun? Let's see. Ooh. That one might, might not be the best. Um, No, that's not going to work because the thing is, um, this we can't connect it. This one only has two. What if we could... Um, I'm trying to think, how, how can we do it? Let's see. Let's so what if, these alleles. So why don't we put the water there? And then we do... We got to do one, so... Let's do sun. And then we need one. There we go. We can use this one. No, we can't. Well, that sucks. So wait a minute. Why can't we use that one? Huh. Can we use this? Might have to take this one out. Um... Yeah, what if we start with the sun one? And then we put this one here. Let's Beautiful see. Work, Peter. There we go. It's just like playing with blocks. Not really that difficult. Oh, we got made a little gold tree. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry is it the rooftop right. at Feast, You'll or is that that little area we saw with the computer? Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. 
But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on. Where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. So how do you uh, feel about um, put it? Miles don't being the main Spider-Man now? Because nope. seeing this little dialogue with right Harry, here. I get the feeling I know where this is going. Peter's going to find it much mu more and more difficult to resist working here. Come on. Because I'm it so really does let him help this. the whole okay, world in a okay. way that Spider-Man cannot. So I kind of see where this is going. You know, based on what I already know about Insomniac saying they're going to make Miles the main Spider-Man, I can kind of already guess where this is going. Especially after Go Harry goes nuts and starts Swipe. eating people thanks to the symbiote. I can I can see where this is going. And honestly, that wouldn't be that bad for him because, like I said, Peter does... It's not going to open itself. Just hold on, Harry. Jesus Christ. Let me let me enjoy it, you fool. Let me bask in the glow of this. Wow. Oh, of course, they already have pizza there. It's New York, right? You gotta eat pizza, even while doing research. Oh, damn. Look, it's our oh, old man. Tom Holland Spider-Man. <laughs> the Tom Holland ripoff. With his skinny self. This is all so amazing. It's... Perfect, really. It's just things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet That's is a good control. photograph. And it's my responsibility to save it. That's a lot of pressure to put on him, though. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Obviously. Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna tell him. Oh, one quick thing. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. That's a good word, balance. Like Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. I know we can ride the rides at Coney Island. Can we ride with Spider Man, too? I mean, even Spider Man needs a break for a job well done on that day. Man, they're just building this up, this brotherhood between them. This is so sad when Harry's just gonna go freaking nuts. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. Oh. I've sent you the locations and you're More of those experiments. All right, I'll swing by. Like we didn't have enough of those in the first, in the first game. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but... duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Maybe Miles could work Good at that foundation there. too. You know, he's pretty brilliant. I know he's more interested in, um, based on Spider-Verse, he's more interested in interdimensional stuff and engineering stuff, but it could work. Maybe. The guy uh, said uh, they got until 2035. By then they would have cured out. They would have solved world hunger. Um, Considering this is the same universe where mutants exist, um, 
you better get that done before 2035 because that's when the Sentinels wreck everything and just completely destroy the whole freaking United States. So you're on a time crunch. And we already know that the Wolverine game is set in this, game, in this universe, so um, you don't have that much time left before the Sentinels just wreck every What's single up, thing Santa in the Casters? freaking United States. I've seen the questions about that new Emily May Foundation. Who are they? What do they do? Well, big picture, it's an Oscorp spinoff, which we don't love, I know, but the man in charge, Harry Osborn, has got a decent rep. At the very least, he hired my favorite bee scientist, AKA apiologist, Dr. M. Young. They're the foremost expert on colony collapse disorder and a pretty sick ukulele player if you happen to follow them on the socials. So, young Osborn, your foundation has a lot of work to do repairing your father's legacy, but so far, you're off to a good start. Don't forget to pay your rent on the first, or, you know, withhold your checks in protest. Whatever, do you. Later. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter that it started off from Norman's company. And like I said, something has to make up for all the crap stuff he's going to do when he becomes Goblin. So it's no different than uh, Lena trying to redeem Lex's company over in An Supergirl. Deal. Not good. Let's get some upgrades first, Peter. Then we can handle the, up the arms deal. Oh, there's the everybody's favorite uh, mirror of JJ as a baby. What does that say? Spiders are mean? Yeah, it says spiders are mean. Oh, and they still got Martin Lee's old um, graffiti over there. I wonder if they just left it because they like how it looks. Let's go beat up that arm steel. Spider-Man! Oh yeah. Why are you guys conducting arm steel in the, in the open air? That's stupid. You could have at least gone to a freaking building. I'm not gonna end up like you! He's going walking! There you go. Have a nice flight. Is that it? Oh, who the hell is it left? Oh, is it just that one single fool? There you go. Have a trash can. There you go. We got, we took care of them. All that was sacrificed was a trash can. If only we could steal their car and leave it somewhere. State of New York. That's a nice detail on the license plate. Alright, what were we doing before we ambushed these idiots? I believe we were heading over to the, um, the experiment. Here we go. Let's, let's get a taste of what that's all about. To see if it really is similar to like the lab missions from the original uh, game. Once Harry left us, all, left us all over the rooftops. Yeah, like I was saying, this game is confirmed to take place in the same universe as the Wolverine game, which means uh, you don't have much much time before the Sentinel start uh, fucking things up, guys. They're gonna start hunting down everyone, not just uh, mutants, but all superhumans, even humans who um, help them. So you guys better figure that out eventually, or else everybody's in trouble. Isn't it funny how um, Apocalypse is like this 5,000 year old tyrant who used to rule ancient Egypt, had his own civilization and everything, but he was a tyrant, bar none. And then, despite being so evil and malevolent and insane, it's the Sentinel's robotic 
you know, robotic creatures made by humans that end up making our far worse future than he does. Like, compared to what they do to humankind and mutant kind, like, you'd actually rather live under apocalypse than, st than live under those hideous things. Hope Dr. Foster doesn't mind if Spider-Man... Sorry to cut you off, Peter. We're on a time crunch, so let's go. Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community. Starting by a It was Feast. Artists. Cool. Please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Wouldn't it be funny if it was a camera collect that collect samples, that connected to the, the lab set up here? And then as soon as he saw the hood, he was like, Spider-Man, what the hell are you doing here? Peter didn't tell me he knew you. Yeah, it would be funny if it was a camera. He was, he just got startled by seeing Spider-Man here on top of the rooftop. Okay, so let's collect some plant samples. Um, something around here. I guess over here? Let's see. Um, what do we have to do again? I already forgot. What exactly are we doing? I was not paying attention. Okay, let's see. Help the Little Tokyo Feast with their garden. Little Tokyo, plant, si plant science. Oh, we got the bee drone, so I guess we really are going to be hunting uh, actual bees. Bee wolves. Oh, deploy wind turbine. That one can actually help us um, fly faster, I assume. What exactly are we doing? I mean, it, we ha obviously it says to help them out, but what exactly are we... Um, there has to be a healthy looking plant around here somewhere. Oh, is it that over here? Let's see. But it's on the side of the building. How do we get it then? Define healthy looking, Peter. Uh, which is, um... Is it this one? That one looks healthy. Before he kicked it. Yeah, some of the little side missions are a bit vague, like the photography stuff. Hmm. Okay, that, yeah, that, one, that one's not healthy. That one looks like it's half dead. So that's not gonna work. Um, yeah, these are half dead. Um, damn, are all these plants half dead? Who exactly is taking care of this garden for fees? Because it looks like they're doing a crap job. Yeah, I'm not seeing one single plant here that we can actually salvage. It's all dead. Seriously, is there not one single plant in this entire rooftop that is actually taken care of? Let's scan these vines. Oh yeah, the vine. We can scan that. Let's see. Oh... Look at that, it's on the side, of, it's on the ledge. That's the only single plant that's actually left out of all of those. All the other ones are basically underway to meet the Green Reaper. I guess we just pull it? Peter, what are you doing? Stop flipping around like a monkey. Collect that damn plant. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. Alright, let's get back to the machine. If I can remember where it was. Do we just stick it in there? Do we need more? I guess we need more plants because uh, nothing's happening. Oh, there's another one right there. I see it. I, right over here. Let's scale the wall. Climb the wall, Peter. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. Hey, weeds have their place. We all know weed has its place, don't we? People love weed nowadays. They didn't used to it, they do now. Because it's much safer than alcohol and it won't kill your brain as quite as quickly. It also works for pain management. Not that I know, but that's what I hear that... When you actually do have like a serious illness like cancer or whatever, it, it, weed works much more restoring your um, appetite and managing your pain than any type of actual process medication does. So you don't want the you don't want the drugs, you want the weed. 
Okay, so we grabbed that one. Did we grab that one? Oh yeah, there it is. There's um. Is it the bush right there with the tomato? Or whatever that plant, that whatever that fruit is. I think I think that's it, right? Yeah, there it is. Peter, grab the freaking plant. What are you doing? Grab the bush, Spooderman. Really Lots of fruit. That's perfect. Okay. That's All right, we have sense. three. Time to bring them together. Let's stick them in there. See what see what comes out. I can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Yeah, that's something I've heard online where apparently um, people have suggested planting fruit trees outside for homeless people to eat so that they have something to eat. They don't just starve. And then they, some idiots would come on online, would come online and say, oh, how, how, how are you going to stop people from stealing fruit from the tree? That's the whole point, moron. It's free fruit for people so they can eat so that they don't starve to death on your streets. It's not meant to be sold at a profit, but some people just, just want to monetize everything. And then when people use it against them, when they charge them for every little thing and basically drive them bankrupt because everything costs so much, then they're whining, why is the world so freaking expensive? Well, because you made it that way. You enabled the companies to, pro to privatize and profit everything, even basic human needs. So now when you're the one needing some actual help, you're freaking screwed. You're beyond screwed. That's the way it does, you know. Remember company towns? Like way back in the 1800s, uh, those company towns that would be completely owned by companies and basically everything you... You were perpetually in debt. You were basically an indentured servant to the company. So you can only buy food at company stores. You can only buy supplies at company stores. You can only buy clothes at company stores. And so, so the... the um, and so the whole purpose was that you never got out of debt from the company. And believe it or not, a certain billionaire who I won't mention here, but his name rhymes with Husk, wants to bring that back. He actually wants to develop a company town for his own for his own company. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Like how many times did your mother drop you on your, on your head as a baby for you to be that fucking dumbass? Is Jesus Christ. Guy's a freaking either he's evil he's or he's a clown, one or the other. But seriously, he literally wants to bring back the concept of company towns, even though they were horrible, and they were the main reason for a lot of death and destruction among would-be union workers in the early 18. I mean, like in the late 1800s and early 1900s, company towns were just the devil's work, pretty much. They they sucked, they sucked big time. And yet some people still want to bring them back. They absolutely cannot accept, you know, people actually working to make a living. You, in, apparently in their eyes, you have to work solely to provide the company profit and uh, just barely survive. You know, just barely subsist enough that you can work them and not die of starvation. But not so much that you actually have a decent life. They think your life belongs to them. It's like, Jesus Christ. This world is all Let's kinds see. of fucked up. All right, so we got, we got the one H. I assume that's hydrogen, right? Or is that, or is that heat? I don't know. This kind of looks like a dragon here. I know it's supposed to be like two trees, or almost looks like two top. It almost looks like two palm trees, but it actually kind of looks like a dragon soaring over the sky to me. Okay, so we need on. We need two, but I, I can already see this one is not going to work. I can already see it's not going to work because there's nothing that can connect to the second one. Uh, we need one. I think we need a, a free. Let's, let's put a free. Okay, now we need a heat. Um, that's still not going to work. Crap. Because if we connect here, there's no way for the heat to connect. Unless, unless we do like... This grow. Can we... Damn, we can't do a leaf. We cannot take this out, so at least that's a frame of reference. Um, they didn't leave us totally clueless, but let's see. Um, where can we stick the sun? Because that's that seems to be one of the major problems. Uh, let's see. Stick the sun there. Oh, but then we can't connect anything here. Oh, that sucks. What am I missing? We need... um. We 
gotta concentrate. Oh, let's see if we can do this. this. Works. These plants will be growing faster and bearing more fruit than ever. I think Just we might have it. Um, feast could do with all of that. There we go. I think we might have it. Let's see. Oh hell yeah! Success. That's what we like to see. It looks okay. like a bunch of worms and great new bee wings, but them. Just gotta it get works. This place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Oh, we gotta fix the water too. All right, let's see. Yikes! Gotta patch this up. Oh shit! The webs should do the trick. Gotta take care of those boxes to get to that leak. Damn, if Jonah say, saw us, he'd be complaining that we're destroying Feast property. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't oh, damn, walls, we really did work. do like Mario and Luigi did, did in the movie. Up. Yeah, where they just accidentally caused that whole bathroom to kind of just implode with the water. Like it was on a submarine. Of course, it was the fault of that stupid dog. It wasn't really their fault. That dog basically screwed them. That dog was freaking psychotic. He was one of the funniest parts of the movie, but that dog was goddamn psychotic in the Super Mario movie. Goddamn. That was one crazy ass scary dog. Just because Luigi stepped on his bone and broke it, it's like, dude, you were gonna eat it anyway. Why does, why does it matter to you if it snapped in half? What, you wanted to like preserve it or something? May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? Yeah, it's like, what did you what, what did you plan on doing with that bone? Or that bone cookie, whatever, the biscuit? Like, like you... You're gonna eat it anyway. What, what did it matter if Luigi broke it in half? You were gonna snap it in half yourself. That dog was crazy. Okay, so we got... Aim, fire webs, fire them where? Is that over here? Or is that another leak? Let's see. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Good thing none of J. Jonah Jameson spies see us doing this shit. Come on, Pete. I think this should do it. Doctor, there we go. Be pleased. He doesn't need to know. Do we get a trophy? I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Eh, that might actually make him more interested. And it might give Spider-Man some good publicity. Actually, you know what? Let's take his um We're gonna do a photo here, cause uh as soon as we stop getting notifications for the menu, I'm gonna do a photo here because I wonder if we can splice hey, Pete, them. you got a minute? I could use some perspective on our mutual friend. What Jonah do this time? Usually I can deal with him, but lately it's like he's determined to get under my skin. You're a veteran. Any advice? With Jonah, it's a never-ending war. Trust me. Pick your battles. You learn how to tune him out eventually. I'm not sure I have that superpower, Spider-Man. I know I can't die on every hill, but... Mm. But you're Mary Jane Watson, Defender Should've just gone to work for Robbie at his smaller newspaper. Maybe elevated them. <laughs> but Instead of dealing with J. Jonah Jameson's dumbass. Oh, I don't know. I'll think about it. Thanks, Parker. Anytime, Watson. Alright, let's take a picture here because, um... I was gonna say, maybe we can splice it together. Maybe we can have one half of the picture be that weird ass image with uh, with um, Peter in the floating cup and then have the other one be this whole. Have this whole, be this whole um, image here with all the water and stuff. Let's see. Yeah, let's um. Yeah, that angle's fine. We don't want to tilt it. I assume. Let's see. I 
Actually, maybe we do want to tilt it. Let's yeah, let's tilt it a bit, just so it's there. Maybe because I'm thinking maybe we can cut out we can cut out like the the hat. Damn, I can't speak. Maybe we can cut out the half the has Peter and the building and the water, and then cut out the half with him and the cup, and then combine it all together in one photo. I don't know if that's even gonna work, but um, let's see. We maybe we can do that. I kind of want to get rid of the city background and have it be a bit, um... Have it be a bit, um... Blurry? But I don't know what to do. Let's see. Yeah, because that doesn't seem to be doing anything. The focus distance? What about aperture? What does that do? Oh yeah, there we go. We are kind of blending a bit now. I guess. I mean, does it really matter? Because we are going to just um, cut it off. We're not actually going to keep that... Um, We're not actually going to keep that, um... We're not going to keep the whole background with the cars and everything. We just want the part with the, um... We just want the part with the... Um, with the water. That one looks cool. The greeting for New York. That one cuts it for us, kind of. Oh, look at this one. That might be nice if we can combine the two, but I don't know if I want to have like a comic book image right next to a more realistic image with the camera on it. That might be kind of weird. And this, the problem with this one would be that even though it looks cool, we'd have to keep more than half, so... This is the one we use for uh, Harry's place, right? That's the, that's the frame we use over there for the floating coffee cup. But I want to use it again. Maybe this one would really would be the best option. Like maybe we can just cut that out, I guess, and just um use that as part of the screenshot and then that, that way we'll just combine them all into one giant screen you know all right i think that's enough for now that's enough playing around with that crap um where are we heading oh we're heading over to do miles's um stuff um I think we're actually going to save here and be done for the night because that, that's obviously a main mission. So that's going to take a while, which I do not have. Um, it's already 4 o'clock a.m. over here. So I don't want to go further than I have to. Because if that's a main mission, it's probably going to take us like half an hour. So I don't, really don't want to spend half an hour more recording. So we're just going to save over here. Um. Uh, we kind of sort of got some things done. We're still not anywhere near um, unleashing Venom, but we're getting hints of it now. That seems like a good job move for Peter working with Harry, but the thing is, obviously, it's all going to go sour once Venom um, shows up and rears up his ugly head. What the hell is this? What is... Oh, that's the whole tattoo suit, or tattoo style suit. I hate that thing. Oh, we got the Spider-Man uh, 2099 black, so we're going to have to use that later. 
Um, yeah, you know what? We'll do one more mission with Miles when we come back. We'll do one more mission with Miles in this suit. Then we'll switch over to Spider-Man 99. I find, it, I find it funny. It says Spider-Man 99 black suit, but it's obviously blue and dark blue. That's not black. Come on, man. That is not black. That is blue. That is not a black Spider-Man suit, but... Man, it's kind of difficult to look at this suit now without um, realizing how much of an asshole Miguel O'Hara is in the Spider-Verse movie. It's just impossible to associate him now with being a good person because he is just a freaking a-hole in that movie. You know, his life fell to crap, so everyone else's life has to fall to crap too. Every other Spider-Man's. He can't be the only one. He just sucks. He freaking sucks. So, um... The suit still looks good, though, so I think we might use the suit next time. Like I said, we'll do... We'll do one more with the hood, with Miles like this. We'll do one more mission with them together like this. Then I'll switch to the Spider-Man 299 suit because that is actually one of my favorite suits. Oh, look at the amazing suit. That's from the movie. Um, I never really liked that one. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like how Ben Affleck's Batman suit in theory it looks perfect. But the problem is once you look at it, like I don't really like all the grainy wire-like texture it has on the main body of the suit that's the same thing here like in theory it looks good and it definitely shows off peter's muscular rear you can see right there that's that that's a spider booty but the problem is um i don't like those lines on the legs and the body it's just, it just looks like it's made of wire or something it just doesn't look comfortable i don't like that um and this is a spider-man 2 amazing suit like pretty much the only good thing to come out of that movie besides uh uh what was the name what was, the girl, what was the girl's name who played um, Gwen Stacy? I already forgot. Emma Roberts? Is that her name? Well, whoever. Whoever played Gwen, Gwen Stacy. Her performance. Emma Stone. There it is. Emma Stone. So many Emmas. I, I get them mixed up. But it's, it was Emma Stone. But this suit is pretty much probably the only good thing to come out of that movie besides her performance. Like, um, Andrew gave it as all, but that script was terrible. You know, like, I don't think it's quite as bad as, um, as, um, Sally Field says she was the one who, she was the one who played Aunt May. She said it was basically a piece of shit. The movie she, you can't polish a you know what. That's what she said. I don't think it was quite that bad, but it definitely wasn't one of the better Spider-Man movies. It was um, pretty mediocre and downright terrible in some parts, but the suit was all right. One of the only good things to come out of it, like I said. So we gotta make sure we wear all these suits at some point. Got that one. Um, I don't like the hybrid suit. Here's the classic one. Um. We started with this one, right? Then we switched. But did we start with this one, the Advanced Suit 2.0? What's the difference between that one and this one? Oh, I see. A little brighter. Um, we gotta wear the classic at some point. J just to show the classic Spider-Man red and blue. We gotta wear that at some point. But um, I guess what we could do is next time we could go Spider-Man 2099. And then the session after that, we, um, we'll wear the classic suit. And then we'll... um eventually wear this one from the amazing spider-man 2 because that suit actually looks pretty sweet despite the movie being a piece of crap the suit actually rocks so um we'll do that let's see what miles got I, I wanted to check out the suits for miles let's see what he got did he get a new one um that is ugly as hell sportswear that's his old suit from the previous game miles morales um no, it looks like only Peter got some new suits. Probably because he was doing story uh, progression. You got to do story to uh, unlock the new suits. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Next time when we come back, after we do that one mission with Miles, we'll, ch we'll switch to Spider-Man 2099. And then, eventually, we'll use the classic suit. And then use this one. So, um, something to look forward to. Uh, it looks like we're going to get started more in the main missions now. Now that we're following those fugitives. So, um... Yeah, I look forward to seeing how and when Venom is going to get introduced. I was, I was about to say earlier too that the thing about Venom is he is capable of good. It's just you, he really needs to get his ass kicked before he becomes an anti-hero instead of a straight up villain. So it's also going to be kind of upsetting and disappointing to see Harry become all crazy like that. Because you know the Venom symbiote actually can do good. It just needs the proper motivation and the right host. Like, not everybody can handle it. You need certain guys with that symbiote suit. Obviously, Peter can't handle it. 
you need certain guys, you need certain motivations to get Venom to do good, but it is possible. He's not a complete monster, so that um that's further you know, I imagine that would be further upsetting to know that in the under very different circumstances, Harry might have actually been able to control that suit, you know, under a in another world, he might actually become an ultra, an anti-hero Venom instead of just a straight-up villain. But we'll see what happens here. We still got to deal with Kraven and his his band of freaks. So I'm curious to see how that's going to turn out because it seemed like Kraven was going to hunt down everyone. You know, Spider-Man, Rafe, um, the Prowler, even Taskmaster. And yet I hear Taskmaster is not in the game or barely in the game. So I have I have no idea what's up there. I don't know what's up with Taskmaster and his role in this game but um yeah i'm looking forward to all that stuff next time when we get started on it so uh thank you for watching and i will see you again next time on spider-man 2 see you later